All right, guys, quick before I actually get into the video, I just want to talk to you guys for about 20 to 30 seconds about a new clothing brand that I'm starting. The brand is called Unassociated, and I'll have all the socials linked down below in the description as our first drop is going to be this winter. For the first drop only, I'm going to be selling t-shirts as well as the hoodies that you just saw. So this is the t-shirt as well as the hoodie that I just showed you guys. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. You're probably thinking, wow, another overpriced streetwear brand. Well, guess what? The hoodie is coming in at a price of $30 US and the t-shirt in $25 US. And lastly, I'm going to be picking one lucky person that follows our Instagram as well as likes our post, their choice between a free shirt or free hoodie. So make sure to go follow all our socials. I'll have them in the description. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. All right, guys, what is up? It is Josh back with another video. Today's video, it's actually not going to be an editing tutorial, but it's actually going to be instead how you can further your content and how you can reach out to other broader audiences by improving your thumbnails. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be showing you how you can actually make your own thumbnails for general content, whether it's editing, gaming, all that stuff. I'm going to be covering that all in this video. Uh, but quick before I get into it though, I just want to say a lot of you guys, about 70% that you've watched my videos are actually not subscribed to the channel yet. So make sure to drop a sub. It's 100% free for you guys to do. And you can change your mind at a later date. But with that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. I will have a little Google Drive with a bunch of assets in there if you want to download that, like a mini like thumbnail edit pack from the stuff I use in this video. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys on my PC. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So unlike my other videos, this video is going to take place in Photoshop. So I'm going to be actually using Photoshop for this video. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go to File new and then we're actually going to make a project that has the width of 1920 and the height of 1080 just the standard high definition and we can see just like this we have a nice little white rectangle i will have like two backgrounds in the description if you guys want to download that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my desktop where i have it saved to and for example i'm going to be using this little purple one and what we're going to do is we're going to scale it up because we can see there's a bit of a watermark in the top corner so we're just going to scale it up so that actually gets removed from it and that actually should be good just like this and then we're going to press place and we can see that we have this nice little purple background so what i'm actually going to show as an example for this tutorial is i'm just going to get a screenshot from a clip so all we can do for this is just find anywhere that you have a clip on your pc so for example i am actually going to just kind of find a random edit that i have and let's say that i'm doing like an impact tutorial obviously we want to find a part where i get a kill my thing's being super laggy we're just going to go to this little uh, paintbrush thingy go to save photo from video and what that will do is it'll load this up um for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to find a frame that actually works well so we're going to go frame by frame find the frame that works for us so for example we could pick a frame like this that's a nice little neat 200 frame we'll do save a photo and what that'll do is it'll bring up this menu we can save it to our desktop so i'm just going to name it whatever the default name we're going to go to file place and then we'll place this actually inside our timeline just like this and what i'm going to do while i scale this out is i'm going to press the maintain aspect ratio and i'm going to scale it out just like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to like go and bring it down here something like that just like that and then what i'm going to do is i am actually going to edit a or add a text layer so we're just going to click on the text tool add a layer i'm going to make sure the font is this good one is called uh bebas Nue or whatever but you can use something like burbank but preferably this one i would i'll have a I'll link to download this one in the description by the way and i'm just going to do how to add just like this and what we're going to do is we're just going to actually go to transform and we're going to skew this just a bit just to the side just from the top just like this and then what we'll actually do as well is i'm going to perspective shift it so from here what we're going to do we're going to go to layer styles i'll have this uh, layer style in the description by the way and uh, this is i believe dom's layer style so shout out to dom for actually hooking me up with that we're going to go to edit Go down to transform. Uh, we actually have to convert this to a smart object first. And we're going to get this perspective and drag this middle one up just like this. So it actually puts it on an angle like that. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm just going to type impacts. And what we can do actually is we can make this one a bit bigger. So I'm going to increase the font. To like 180 just like this we can shift this one down if we need to or even make it a bit smaller so i'll just go to free transform link it again and just like that 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer, add the layer style, and then I'm going to actually skew it like we did with the other one, just a tiny bit. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to click off this, apply the transformation, right click it, convert it to a smart object so we can actually add the perspective, drag this up and just like that, it is good right there how to add impacts and then right here what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our free transform just so we can adjust the sizing of this just like this and let's say our tutorials inside of after effects so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get an after effects png just like this one right here we're going to save it to wherever like our desktop just like this then we're going to actually place it inside of our uh, photoshop so we're going to find it. I don't even know where it is. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to scale it down. Like I said before, rotate it. So it lines up with our text a bit, scale it down again. And just like that. So now what we're going to do, I kind of messed it up. So let's just make sure that we have this aligned with our impacts right here. We're going to duplicate this by right clicking. So we have a second one right here. So we have two of them. And on the bottom one, we're going to add this layer style, the one that we have for the text. That way we can see it's just like a bit of a square. And with this one selected, this uh, top one viewed, we're going to select the bottom layer. We're going to actually select the A. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get an eraser tool. And we're just going to erase the thing right here. So when we get rid of this, we can see that the A is cut out. And then with the second layer still selected, the bottom one, we're going to scribble out the E on the top layer just like this so we can see if we go like this they're both cut out so then once we actually have the bottom thing uh fully done we can just delete the top one sorry not duplicate it delete just like this and we can see that we have this nice little after effects thing we can move around wherever i just would keep it up here if i were you guys uh, if your tutorial is in after effects you could do this if it was in davinci you could do the same thing with the layer style all that stuff what i'm going to do to the uh screenshot right here is i'm just going to add a bit of outer glow to it I'm just going to select outer glow. I'm going to make it like a uh, purple kind of color, change the opacity to full and we'll change the size a bit more, maybe up the spread a tiny bit and then drop the opacity just down a tiny bit. That way it's like kind of like a, I don't even know how to describe it, but just like almost like a radiating glow on the outside that's not too noticeable though. And then you could fill it in with whatever here. You can make it like a facial expression to fill up the space. You could make it, I don't even know, some more screenshots, but um, yeah, that's pretty much that and uh what you could do if you really wanted to is you can like mess around with it you could shift this over increase the size a tiny bit by having this selected just increase the size in general um but yeah that's pretty much that make sure you don't have it too close to the border because what i'm about to show you um is very crucial that you don't have it close to the border at all so i'm going to move this in the after effects over and then we're just actually going to scale this down a tiny bit make sure that you have these locked just like this and there we go just like that all right so this next thing uh it is my uh, friend dom's technique so he came up with this but i'm actually i figured out how to do it with trial and error so shout out to dom um so yeah what you're gonna do just make sure you have this rectangular marquee tool selected uh while you have the bottom layer selected we're just gonna go like this draw a little rectangle around the entire thing just as like a little border kind of thing and then what we're going to do is we're actually just going to do new layer via copy and then this bottom one we're going to go to um, right here adjustments and we're going to actually increase the brightness and what you can see is it just does a little border around the entire thing super clean uh, you can make it thinner thicker whatever you want and then i recommend having whatever you want for your thumbnail on the very inside but that's actually how you make your own thumbnail inside of photoshop um, i'll have some other assets in the uh, google drive if you want to download that as well as the layer style i um, hope you guys enjoyed this different type of tutorial very very different and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in a new video on the channel peace out guys